Sun Founder sent me some goodies. They sent me their all new Ice Cube fan heatsink cooler, kind of a case, as well as their UPS, their power supply here on the bottom that, yes, can take batteries and you can make a portable pie. You can have better power supply, not worry about power spikes and things. I have to say, you know, if you really want to turn your Raspberry Pi and you want some upgrades, these are some nice little upgrades, especially if you leave your pie on all the time or if you're overclocking these two together are awesome or even just getting the fan so whether you're playing retro games you're building like a portable retro gaming system or you're just using something that's taxing on the on the pie i definitely recommend a setup like this you know it really is nice uh especially now that pies are so expensive with the current supply chain issues um it does come with an rgb fan or you can even get it in black so let's go ahead and we'll check out the ups first then we're going to go and do the uh the ice cube case fan First up is the Pi Power UPS. Um, it does uh, output and it does uh, it does have o overcharge as well as um, it does pass through. So you could be charging this thing while you're using it. So you could do something like this, you know, and then you can remember you can put the ice cube case on top, some sort of security camera system. You can use it for a portable retro gaming device, or even if you want to make like a portable um, like kind of tablet, you can use it to do all sorts of tinkering projects like with a car or something like that. And then, you know, add a screen to it, add a portable screen, you have, the, you know, so many options out there. Um, it runs around 20 bucks for the power supply. And now let's check out the ice cube fan case. Today, Sun Founder sent me their new Ice Cube Tower cooler. Uh, supposedly the fan is quieter. You got RGB on the fan. You know, probably one of the best cooling systems out there. Anytime you have these huge heat sinks plus the active cooling of a fan, it's usually a really good solution. Just right off the bat, it might not be for everyone because of its large size. It's not going to be, you know, if you're using it for a project or something like that, it's not going to fit everywhere else. They are kind of marketing this like a case. It looks like you do get a bottom piece. And do know it is for the Raspberry Pi 4B, 3B Plus, and 3B Non Plus edition. Really cool. I didn't know that this was going to come in here, which is they not only give you a RGB fan, but they give you a, a straight up fan as well. Uh, we'll turn them both on at the same time and see what happens. Here you go. You have, that, you have those copper pipes here running up through the radiator or through the fins here. The heat sink is very thick right here. And uh, so. Not too heavy, but it's pretty beefy. Alright, so you got fan options, you got lots of tools here. And it even comes with spacers and a uh, screwdriver. So, here we need to put install the standoffs first with the risers. Or the st and that fits on top. And then I think this is where a lot of people are going to run into trouble is with the riser. You have to do two standoffs. Two sets of standoffs here. All right, so do you see that? You have to do st two standoffs. It's a little standoff sandwich here. They don't really explain that very well in the instructions. Finally, made a kit where you can the rise the the way they manufactured these is is a one size fits all. In previous versions, you used to have like a different kit for the Raspberry Pi three, and then a different kit for the Raspberry Pi four. There is a little indicators on here. There's a one and a two. So, and it is a little more chrome looking on one side versus the other. Get two, which is nice. They're like jelly. Got one there. You get two each, which is nice. So you could split this in half. Maybe you can. You should be able to. Ah, it's got a top and a bottom coat. Mmm, so this one's less thick because the uh, the chip next to the CPU is recessed more. So this makes up for the, the differences. And then now this should fit right on top. Boom. Perfect. Wow, that's a very close fit here. And then you're going to cap these off with your, your 
your bolts here. All right. Oh yeah. Definitely a little more smush now. You can see the heat sink smushing in there. And then you're just gonna run these around the, the back side. You're gonna go black on the third, on the row closest to us, third pin from the right. And then red, I'm gonna go under the black here. I'm gonna go to the last pin on the back side. All right, so that's gonna give us five volt. Red on the far right, black on the third to last. You can see it here in the, um, in the photo as well. All right, and then you are left with some extras. So don't worry if you have some extras. Uh, you even have the extra fan and extra fan clips. So really impressed with that. Here it is. All said and done. You guys ready? Whew, that's quiet. The fan's a little lopsided though with the sticker, so it looks funny. That is absolute silence. I don't think I've ever heard a quieter fan. No, I have, but it's it's nothing. It's literally nothing. But it's also as far as like performance it doesn't feel like much but it might not need to have a lot because you have the huge heat sink on there and again I this you can't hear it. the fan is on right now So there you have it, the Sun Founder UPS, Universal Power Supply, as well as what they call it the Pi Power, and then also using the new Ice Cube case. Now I understand there's been similar, uh, there's the Ice Tower, you know, so this isn't necessarily a new design, but uh, the packaging as well as, you know, how complete it is and uh, with the little heat pads on there, it was great. Everything was great about it. It fits on the Raspberry Pi 3, 3B, 3B+. And as you see there, I even with the 2 gigahertz overclock, I was well under any kind of throttling temperature or anything like that. So, you know, pushing your Pi forward to the limit, getting that extra performance, especially for Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast, you know, is going to be really nice. Um, but even if you're just leaving your Pi on for a really long time, both having the power, you know, always being there, not worrying about power spikes or power outages, um, having the ability to be portable with the UPS. And then with the with the fan, you're going to be able to keep this thing cool, prolong the Pi, make sure you know you don't overheat it or it throttles. Uh, you can be sure of that. Is this a little overkill? Yes, but you'd be surprised. I mean, people really like tinkering on the Pi. And is it really over the top? It doesn't seem that far-fetched as far as price to performance. So I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this one. And it looks cool as heck. Like anybody who comes over who sees it's going to be like, whoa, what is that thing? You're like, yeah, it's the ice cube. And uh, so, and it's cool to see the RGB on your desk if you're into that. So if you're not though, it comes with the black fan. So both anybody who grabs this is gonna be happy. The, you cannot hear the fan whatsoever. It makes me think like maybe if you put a more powerful fan, it'll even cool even better, but it is very quiet and that's a nice uh, pro. So there you have it. I have no uh, hesitation on this thing. I think it's totally worth it, um, you know, so. Uh, great on them. Really loving it. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.